Here is one most important thing your man needs from you. I said most important. There are very many things that we are supposed to exchange. You and your husband or your, your, your partner. Many things you're supposed to exchange. But there is one thing that stands out. And before we get onto it, let's remind ourselves of the qualities of a good woman. I'm talking about wifey material here. These are qualities that cut across. In order to consider yourselves compatible to each other, there are general, general parameters that should be followed. For you to become an item, there are things that should be existing. For instance, respect, humility, or politeness, empathy, compassion, submissiveness, Love, care, blah, blah, name them. There are very many. Every man needs these things in order for you to be compatible as a partnership. But like I said, there is one thing that your particular guy needs from you. Don't look at um, general parameters that we've just enumerated. You look at yourself as beautiful. Oh, yes, you are. You have the respect. Oh, yes, you are, dear lady. You have the love. You show him the love and affection. Yes, you do. Oh, you are so empathetic. You're so kind. You're so, so submissive. You're caring. You have all these qualities. But still, you feel there is a void. There is a missing link. What is that that this man wants? I've done everything. I've showed this man all the love. I've been, done this and that and that and that. But this man doesn't seem to feel me. He doesn't seem to notice my effort. He doesn't really seem to, uh, to see that I really go an extra mile to make him happy and to be the best wife I can be. Hmm? That's why I'm here. To tell you that you are just following the general rule. That general rule can be played by anybody. Anyone can be picked and will play that general rule. That's why you'll find a very pretty woman in her home has been displaced by a housemaid. Has been displaced by somebody she thinks is less appealing, of course, physically appealing. Why do you think this is happening? It's because you have not identified that one important thing that triggers your man. You've not identified it. You are generally a good woman. You are generally a beautiful wifey material. But you need to identify that singular thing that trickles your man. I spoke to one of the ladies about this particular lesson and she told me, oh yes, I identified what triggers my man long, long, long time ago. And I was curious, please, can you share? She was good enough or she told me, you know, I entered into this marriage when at a time when this man was so lonely, he needed really companionship. So, oh yes, I came in as the good wife, generally a good wife, a nice woman. And yes, he seemed to be happy. He really appreciated the love and care I was giving him. But I felt there was a void. There was something lacking in this man. His deceased wife had left two children. And these children were living with their grandmother. So... Intuitively, I came to realize these kids had a very big, big role in this man's emotional life. So one day, I decided to tell my husband, sweetheart, I miss my children. I miss my children. He's like, no, don't mind, we'll get kids. I say, no, I miss your children. Our children that are living with grandmother, can we please pick them and take them in? So we organized and brought children back home. And the man was so, so elated in a very, very rare way. 
She says she had never seen this kind of joy in this man's heart, in this man's facial expression. He was indeed very happy when these children came home. And then she opened her heart to these children. She loved these children like her own. She took very good care of these children. And oh my God, all the love was showered unto this lady. In the same or more than equal dimension, the man loved her till now, 25 years down the road. They are together and I hope living happily ever after. She discovered her weapon, the man's children, her stepchildren. Now, what is your weapon? Very many ladies out there are just playing by the general rule. Can you please identify your weapon amongst all those qualities that you have, amongst all the qualities that this man has, uh, amidst everything in your vicinity? There must be something that tickles your man. There must be something that must tickle your man and bring out all the love. And please don't forget that change is the only permanent fact of life that we all have and we must face. After identifying this weapon, don't cling on it and think that it will work forever. No. Be keen to identify how it's going to change, how his behavior is going to change, how his tastes and preferences will change, such so much so that he might prefer a different weapon at a particular point in time. Learn your guy. In the same way, he's going to do it for you. Please, lady, don't say, ha, ah, people expect too much from us. We've done all this for these guys. Where they really, they are draining us. They want this, they want the other. No, this is your guy. And you want the relationship to work. If he has not yet done it, or he is not yet doing it, he will do it. I know most guys don't want to take the initiative always. Women are good at initiating. There must always be the first person. Even in any game, in any sphere of life, there is always the first person. Volunteer to be that first person who will initiate it. He will follow suit. because. Any brilliant man, any wise man, any person with a brain knows that every good turn deserves another. Therefore, I'm very sure he's going to do it for you too. Please, just identify that weapon. It's going to save you a great deal in your marriage. Like I said, even a maid can come and displace you from your home. Why? Because she has identified the weapon and she's using it to displace you from your own home. I, for one, discovered my weapon when I was still a young lady, just new in the marriage. I think we were just two years down the marriage. I felt I wasn't getting all the compliments that I really deserved to get from this man. I would do everything that I really hoped there is to do as a wife and you know what young women could do they do they go overboard to do everything they can to please their men i did it but i was still feeling no i'm not getting all the attention all the compliments i deserve to get from this man so i noticed this man loved his stomach he loved his food a particular type of food. So what did I do? I put in more effort in that regard. I saw, I began catching his attention. Then I added more effort. Hey, I got more attention. Then I went all in. I now put in much more effort. I got all the attention I needed. I now knew where the missing link was. The moment I discovered it, I got all the compliments. 
I suddenly became the most beautiful lady there is. Oh, yes. I became the most brilliant and clever woman there is. I became the most helpful partner there is. I got all these compliments on a daily basis. And I knew, oh, yes, this is what was missing. But again, don't relax at that. Keep on keeping on. You see him changing, follow his test. He will do the same for you. By the way, these guys are also getting the same lessons from wherever they are. But like I said, men are not good at initiating. So please, initiate. And I'm very sure he will follow suit. Don't think you're overdoing it. Just imagine, okay. Putting that little more effort and completely losing out the relationship, which one would you go with? I think if you really love your marriage and you love the relationship to continue, just a little more effort would not hurt. Okay? Please, identify your weapon. For as long as you want to stick together, that weapon will see you through. Thank you very much for listening to me. Again, right here is Auntie Isla. I'll meet you in my next one. Thank you very much.